Do you hear that? Yes, it's time for Stories with Jen and my trusted reading partner, Wally the Wombat. That's it, Wally? Please say hello to Wally. Yes, Wally, they're saying hello to you. Wally says hello back. Welcome. Today's story is called Sushi the Selfish Cat. Written and illustrated by Kara Cathcart. Thank you, Kara, for giving me permission to read your book today. Now, Sushi, like all cats, loves to eat. But Sushi has a problem. She doesn't like to share. One day, something happens to Sushi. Shall we find out? Let's get started. You're sitting comfy? Good. Sushi, the selfish cat. There were a lot of dangers to being a cat. Cars, dogs, and even hairballs were dangerous. But Sushi was the biggest danger of all. She bit, she hit bad. She kicked and she did not share any of her food. She was the queen of the cats. She planned all the heists and found all the food, but she never got it herself. She made all the other kitties get it for her and she would let them eat sometimes. How selfish. One day, Sushi smelled something coming from a big pink house. No one had ever gone inside before, but Sushi was absolutely determined. She had a plan. She made all the other kitties stand up on top of each other and hold her up so she could reach the window. Mm. She jumped inside and what she saw was better than she imagined. She saw pizza, donuts, coffee, watermelon and even more donuts. She ate and ate until her stomach hurt. She had never eaten so much in her entire life. She didn't know what to do with herself. Maybe I should let the other kitties eat some of this, she said. What was that noise? What do you think it is? A big brown dog came out of nowhere and chased Sushi. She ran down the stairs and out of the house. When she got outside, she noticed that none of the other kitties were waiting for her. Sushi cried. She went to go find them and they were eating without her. She lifted her paw to hit them, but she missed. Sushi, you didn't come back to share any of the food with us, said Coffee. We can't hang out with you anymore, said Bushy. We won't get to eat if we do, Sushi. You're too selfish, said Brown. They were right, weren't they? Yes. Sushi had to find a way to get food without any of the kitty's help. She looked in bins, but the food was rotten. Ooh. She 
the neighborhood boys gave her a mud pie and when she finally found food the bird stole it oh dear sushi she didn't like this she didn't like this at all she realized how mean she was to the other kitties and had a crazy idea she was going to do something she had never done before in her entire life she was going to ask mm. she went to the blue house the brown house the green house and asked each person for food. She didn't steal, didn't bite, nor did she kick. And guess what? They gave it to her. After she was done collecting food, she had every food a kitty could imagine. She had bacon, eggs, and even donuts. This time she was going to share. Good on you, kitty Sushi. Sushi called all the kitties over and placed the food in front of them. She apologized for being so mean and not sharing. I'll never take your food again said Sushi. We forgive you, Sushi. Would you like to stay and eat with us? asked Brown. Not now, said Sushi. She had somewhere else to go. Sushi went back to the pink house. As it turned out, the lady in the pink house wanted her to stay. She loved the house. She ate big meals. Look at the big meals she's eating there. They watched TV and Sushi got a new best friend. But she didn't forget about the other kitties. She would still eat with them from time to time and she always remembered to share. There's Sushi with her new family. The end. Oh, what a lovely story that was. Remember how important it is to share and also to ask. Look at Sushi. How wonderful her life turned out after she realized the importance of asking and sharing. Yes. If you enjoyed that story and would like to hear more, click on the link below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Further down, you'll see instructions to join my Facebook group. Until next time, from my trusted reading partner, Wally, and myself. Yes, you remembered. Keep on reading. See ya. Bye.